It's CBB, CBB time. time. Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone's mother into this. Your mama in the fucking stands. Welcome, welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura, Tom Segura, and Christina Pashitsky. Welcome to your mom's house. <laughs> Oh boy, oh boy. I promise we're going to get a real intro sometimes. <laughs> I mean, it's just people like that so much but you're bound to get sick of it after a few plays here on the old behind the jeans welcome to the program tis i josh potter your host of behind the jeans and boy oh boy folks do we have a program on tap for you behind the jeans show at gmail.com by the way is where you can email us all kinds of suggestions you can maybe even send in some clips that we overlooked that you want to give us uh, a little uh, nudge to cover here on the program behind the gene show at gmail.com is the place to send that in uh, unless you're in the chat right now I mean if you're a member already you're here you're live you're with us you're in the chat we saw some chatters as the intro was playing there we've got tons of people uh, Lauren hey we got a new member here oh boy oh boy signing up for a membership for uh 24 months that helps you know if you want to sign up and become a member it does help the roach out even a little bit as well so do sign up here and get into the live chat watch it live if you're watching it on the replay though there is the email for you behind the gene show at gmail.com oh boy and also i gotta give a shout out to uh token tony look at my shirt Ooh, i i don't even know if i can stand up here oh boy look at it do you see that? Hell of a shirt. Token Tony Designs. I always want to say Tokyo Tony, but he's not Asian. He just smokes weed. It's Token Tony Designs. He brought that all the way to the comedy store for me, so thank you for that. I also would like to uh, let you know where you can see the roach live if you want to come see me live oh boy i'd love for you to come to see me come on out to these bad boys right here the next one is going to be in alabama it's huntsville alabama as a matter of fact on april 26 27 then in may we got all kinds of stuff over there we got chicago we got seattle we got all sorts of stuff so take a look at that come on out thejoshpotter.com if you want to buy tickets to come see the roach live i got to admit something uh i have diarrhea i have been since the morning since i woke up this morning i don't think i've gone one hour without having to diarrhea everywhere and boy oh boy now i'm here on the show it is live there is no i have no one here in this room with me i'm here out in the remote ymh studios of north hollywood aka the roach studios here in my apartment so the toilet is close but i will not use it i vow right here right now to tell you that if i have to diarrhea it's just going to happen and i'm going to do a reverse burr kreischer you're never going to know that i did it so keep that in mind will the show end with diarrhea in my pants in my apartment smelling like diarrhea like a dirty boy's diaper or will i make it through again the world may never know oh boy last week we had some fun times didn't we and i know that in the chat we had plenty of you that are here again i hope some of you are here for the first time as well uh but you uh i always screw up his name and i wrote it down phonetically so i won't anymore because it's such a it's you know you want none you know you want none and when I say it, I want to say Juno Juan Nun. But that's, again, see, I just did it properly there. And it's still a tongue twister to me. I, I've been in broadcasting most of my life. And never have I been confounded by a person's handle quite like that. But uh, wonderful little uh, AI. I don't even know what's going on with AI anymore. I don't know if this is AI, if this is face swap necessarily. But wonderful job here. Uh, and we'll play it for you so you can give it your all. Oh, I just muted it. Let's turn it back on. Like in Hollywood, 
if you're in the industry, the devil, the devil, they like Illuminati, all this shit, they try to get you. Now at this point, how many streams of income do you have? I got OnlyFans, make a lot of money on that. Uh, I'm about to come out, I'm about to do a, col a clothing brand collab with Desto. You know what that is? Uh, off a lot of concert. There you go. Yeah, that's my homeboy, uh, TikTok. I just found out I had $37, $37,000 sent in my TikTok account. I didn't even know, because they pay you off your views. It's like YouTube. I didn't even know. I'm trying to get it out of there, but they're talking about you got to go to PayPal, but... Um, you know, PayPal be acting funny with money sometimes, so I don't want to do that. What would people find on your OnlyFans? See pictures, videos of me saying, hey, what's up, y'all? AI's got me all in a pickle here, folks. I don't know what's AI and what's real. After watching that Jeopardy episode, I don't know what's going on anymore. I don't know. It sounds like Christina. It looks like Christina. Which parts are Christina and which parts are the Woe Vicky people? Or is it the Cash Me Outside girl? I thought it was Woe Vicky. But I, I mean, I don't know. It's It could just be Christina in a video, for all I know, at the end of the day. <laughs> Mr. Colstein says Christina is one brain injury away from this version. Maybe so. Maybe so. I mean, I, again, it was so... Uh, mind-boggling. Look at and also yes, I do, I cannot see. I see the world in twenty and two forty p. Is the screen blurry? I don't know. It looks clean to me, but very. I mean, again, I I do see the world that way. The the AI is going to torture me someday, folks. I'm not going to know what's real. I'm already having a hard enough time figuring out what's real and what's not. Oh, by the way, uh, some suggestions that came in I saw in both comments and via email is for a new segment that we could be doing here on this program and we're going to start it next week but i wanted to tease it a little bit because i want you to give me some suggestions where to begin because it's such a vast amount of things that we can explore it's the uh idea that we are going to go into the vault classic your mom's house clips maybe they're clips from the show maybe they are just simply clips played on the show whatever the case may be Please to be suggesting some. Again, the email behind the gene show at gmail.com. Send in what where we should we begin? I mean, I've been thinking about going over some of the content that I was involved in. I that just comes to mind because it's fresh on my brain, but there could be things that I'm not even thinking about, and I would love to hear from you. What should we cover as we venture into the vault? And we'll do it for the first time next week. Again, live here on the program, 3 p.m. Pacific, 6 p.m. Eastern. Eastern, and we have another uh, Instagram thing I would like to play real quick, and that's a little shout out for our boy intern Tanner. He was on Kill Tony this past week, and I just saw this reel on uh, on Chad's Instagram. So let's rock this for you. See if I can play it and not be dumb. Oh yeah, look at me. I should probably turn it on though. Yes, Tanner, the wee little intern at your mom's house. My dad's shorter than my mom. My dad's Asian. I know he's doing a good job, too. Like, I hear my mom go, oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> my dad's all, don't like out. Oh, fuck yeah, get this foot <laughs> I'm Asian. Don't get mad at me, bro. <laughs> wow, a great minute. How old are you? 21. 21 yeah. years 21. old. 21. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like Kevin Spacey, because this twink is cute. <laughs> I don't know why he's got so much cartoon turned into a human energy. <laughs> yeah. So, Tanner, how do you make a living? I work for Tommy Buns and Mama Jeans. Wow. Yeah. And unbelievable. Yeah, I was actually uh, switching on the podcast when you were on Not Today, pal. Oh, okay. Yeah, and you asked. So when? So when? <laughs> <laughs> I'm losing it. Fuck. Tony really likes The Sopranos. It's what I keep on in the background. And uh, he was wondering about this Pink Floyd song that kept popping up when someone was killed. A cover of Comfortably Numb. Van yeah. Morrison sings the chorus on the Comfortably Numb uh, version mm -hmm. of Christopher Maltesanti's death. <laughs> you know, they asked the great David Chase, and he... Didn't Your eyes are so know. much bluer than I thought. He didn't oh even know. Are you Sorry. talking about my eyes yeah. right now? Because I'm talking about David Chase. <laughs> blue is your little vest. <laughs> oh, jeez. <laughs> What is going on here? Will you guys stop flirting? <laughs> Fucking boxcar child. <laughs> Tanner, you're a freak of nature. Have you been funny your whole life? Are you a little rabble rouser in school? Such a rabble rouser. Okay. 
<laughs> Son of a I bitch. swear to God. Spank it, Tony. Disrespect it. I'd love to have you on the Secret Show Thursday if you can. Yeah, thank you. And here's a big joke book. There you go, buddy. The Kill Tony debut of Tanner Amiglio. Make Look some- at that, Tanner. Oh, boy, on Kill Tony. Congratulations. Getting pulled out of the bucket and not making a fool of himself. In fact, doing a great job. So congratulations to Tanner. That was pretty cool. Is Tanner around, Cougar, or is, he, or is it just you guys? Say that again? Or is Tanner around there by chance? I know I'm throwing He that is, on you. I think. Hold on a second. Well, I was going to say, if he's not at the readily available, we can always have him come on via the video next week. I'd love to hear more. Oh, I got more. him right here. Oh, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, here. Here's Tanner. Tanner! I feel like I'm on a phone call. Yo, what's up? Tanner, good job, buddy. Thank you. Thanks, Josh. Appreciate it. Did you, uh, now when you got, did you know going in you were going to roast uh, Tony quite like that? Um, no, I was just looking at his face and his eyes <laughs> really blue <laughs> so they sure are i don't know if that's yeah. context or what i don't remember his eyes being so blue before maybe the vest just brought it out yeah but you nailed did. the voice thank you everybody kind of has a tony voice and i think you had one that was that was really good as a matter of fact thank you Appreciate and now you're going to be on the secret show so we'll have to get uh to, to you'll have to let us know how that goes as well yeah i'll be on secret show this thursday i'm pretty excited about it did tomorrow, mark norman actually. blow you did Mark Norman blow me? See, he wanted. These... Yeah, he was pretty gay for you there. Um, I'm gay. <laughs> hey, I'm. See, gay. I can do what? impressions too. Look at that. <laughs> um, he didn't blow me yet, so we'll just we'll put it there. Yeah. Well, you'll never know. He gets down to Austin more and more. But uh, awesome, dude. Thank you so much. We're gonna go watch some clips now. And uh, awesome. great job on the Kill Tony thing again, by the way. Thank you, Josh. Bye. No prob, dog. So if you're out in Austin, go check out The Secret Show. It's at Red Bands Club, the old Sunset uh, Club. Tomorrow night, it's going to be happening Thursday night. Oh, boy, oh, boy. we got so much that we're going to get into. We've got uh, Jamie and Rob coming up in a couple of moments. I mean, they just talked about Sopranos in that clip right there. Jamie and Rob are going to be coming up because I want to discuss the man. And I teased it last week. I talked about it. I said, oh, boy, if you haven't watched this, you should watch this. And I hope you did your homework because I actually r- ran out of time last week and completely forgot to go into it. It was There was so much to get into last week when we had Ari on and everything. Go check out the episode if you haven't. But Jamie and Rob had on a caller, and I don't know how they found this guy, but he's a big fan of Jamie's feet, and I just want to dive a little deeper into that. Plus, they discussed something else uh, earlier er, on this la- latest program that I want to get into as well. Before we do that, though, I do want to... Uh, oh, but also, by the way, we're going to talk about the uh, the man- March Madness. That's what we're calling it off the air, March Madness. Yes, if you haven't watched Two Bears, One Cave, uh, they ran- they did a bracket of dudes that Bert wants to bang. So we're going to get into that in great detail a little bit later as well. But speaking of bears, I found this as an odd question on first date. Give it a, give it a gander. Yeah. I think I'm burning calories a lot. Would you consider yourself an alpha or a beta? This is actually a controversial take because I've talked about this on podcasts and people really get upset and they're like, you're a, you're a fucking beta piece of shit. I think as I have glasses and I, I can get nervous sometimes, but really I'm a, I'm a born leader. I think I'm more alpha, frankly. When I'm hanging out with a group, we're doing my ideas. I'm like, this is what we should do. Let's all go here. And people are like, all right, I'm a, I'm a born leader. I was captain of my track team, cross country team and uh, basketball team. Okay. I was captain of a baseball team once. So, too. like, do you think you could outrun a bear? Outrun a bear. I mean, that feels like something that's Googleable. And I- Such a weird. Okay. So, uh, he's describing how he's an alpha male. I thought she was going to go deeper into how are you an alpha male, you know, more so exactly. And then. She is this the indication of if you're an alpha male is if you can outrun a bear? That's what I heard at first. I got scared. I don't know if it was a complete non sequitur or if this was I mean, when a pretty girl discusses what an alpha male is, and I again I have no concept of what that could possibly be, and then they say so I was like, Oh my god, should we be able to outrun bears? Is that what's supposed to be going on? Is that what I'm supposed to strive for? To be not a beta cuck bitch gay? 
is that what's supposed to happen? I got scared for a second, but I think it had nothing to do with the alpha male questioning. I'm not quite sure. What are your thoughts? It was an odd pairing, Joe List and Lauren Compton, but one that was so delicious. I loved it. It was one of my favorite episodes of First Date to Date, as a matter of fact. Go check it out if you haven't done so already. We've got our guest, or one, at least one of our guests, in the, uh, in the back here. So let me see if I can bring... One of the I don't see him at the at his uh, station though. I'm assuming Enny's favorite is Rob. I'm gonna guess Cougar. Uh, yeah, you could say that. You could say, oh, there he is. Let's see if I can bring him on here. Oh boy, welcome to the program. Oh boy, did I blow it? Let's see here. Oh no, I have to get it. Hold on, Rob. Stay right there, buddy. I'm gonna figure it out. I'm going to get it for you. Oh, Jesus, Josh. All right. We're going to do it like that for the time being. (laughs) We get to keep chill this, but that's good because I want to bring up a clip uh, of your program. Now, please tell before I play the clip, where did this guy come from? How did he, did he email you? How did you get in touch with this man in order to thoroughly sort of freak Jamie out at first? What's up, Josh Potter? How are you, buddy? I'm doing good. I'm glad we can hear you now. Okay, good. I'm sorry. I'm learning I'm all the buttons like, still. You my know? cool guy lighting and framing here. I want to make sure it, uh, <laughs> it works out. Okay. So, yeah, he was just, I mean, he was in Jamie's DMs forever about her feet. Now he loves her feet. And then me and Jamie were watching TV at her place, and Cutter took a picture, and it happened to show the bottoms of her feet, and that's what really set him off because – as he describes in the show, I think he in Sopranos he got to see the tops and the sides, but the bottom is really when it all came together for him. <laughs> oh my god, did he log like where he saw them in Sopranos? Dude, like, does he know the episode? Could he go uh, season four, episode five? Uh, there was a shot of Jamie's feet from above. Did he have that down to the to the T? Yes, sir. Oh my god, do you think he has books? Do you think he has? Uh like logs he he not only knew about jamie's feet he knew about scenes from other movies where other people's other women's mm. feet came and he was telling jamie why hers are better than those he said jamie has the best feet in the world i mean it, it sounds like he would know a thing or two and if, even if he even if feet is subjective a man that is that learned on feet and studied and explored the very the variables and all that I would venture to guess he's at least considered an expert, and you'd have to take that as a compliment. Yeah, listen, I'm not, not going to debate him on the topic. I couldn't, I couldn't, I couldn't bring up a second. You know, I don't know who would I would even argue would have the second best feet in the world. I'm not, I'm not anti feet, but I'm not a, I'm not a foot guy. You know? Did he say? Did he mention any people that uh, she has a has like a run for her money or whatever? Like anybody? Margot that's, Robbie. Margot Robbie. I did, <laughs> I did catch that actually. I wasn't sure if like. When she when he DMs her because I'm trying to find more about like how this how you know the behind the scenes behind the genes of it if you will and yeah. were these DMs very forward were they like obviously uh, I'm sure Jamie's not in her 99 plus like some of us sewer dwellers are looking for the attention of the opposite sex but uh, I'm curious were they frightening messages or were they very like studied feet you know that kind of thing. As what you see with a lot of cool guys, they kind of ran the gamut, you know? Like sometimes you'd get the nice and just like, hey, just throw it out there, I don't see your feet. And then other ones were kind of like, here's what you need to do <laughs> and when you need to do it, you know? It's like I want your feet crossed on a wooden table with the camera angle this way and I want this sitting here and not, he, he gets very specific. He's, uh, you know, he likes what he likes, our guy, PG. I have so many questions uh, for Jamie. I hope she can join us, but I wanted to play some of the clip here uh, that really sparked the internet, if you ask me. This was something else. Here, let's get into it. Th- thank you uh, for having me. Yeah, um, yeah. you can call me anytime. Uh, we can talk about any topic. Um, that's fine. Um If Jamie could give me, like, a, like, a, like a picture, right, uh, like another one 
Like, but like everyone sees it. Like, in other words, it's not just like 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 another thing. Like doing it like from the couch again. Listen to it. Listen. Here's what we do. I'll. I promise you. Sometime within the next whatever three weeks, month, or whatever, I'll remind Jamie while we're at her house. Me and her will take a picture. We'll put it on Instagram. Her feet will be out, and we'll throw a little wink in the what do you call that? Hashtag PG. Hashtag PG. Yeah, we're going to throw... Th- this one's for you, PG. Yep. That's what we're going right. to do. But then everyone right. could see... I like... So you would you would actually He's prefer... Generous. You would prefer a... Fo- <laughs> was that a little toilet flush, PG? <laughs> the way you asked that was so adorable, Rob. <laughs> well, I want to make sure he knows it's coming from a place of love, you know? I don't even know if I would have reacted right away. I would have heard that and been kind of shocked and been like, that couldn't have been a toilet. For-. You were on it. You knew that sound. Yeah. It sounds like you've it been was, on the phone call, the opposite end of a couple of those. Yeah, it, it felt like all my dreams were coming true, you know? <laughs> uh, yeah, it's like when, you, it's like when you're, you're, you make all these, you, like when you're gambling and your bets are winning and then you have one bet, you're like, that one is never going to win. I was just putting that in. <laughs> oh, I put $5 to win 100 and you know, and then that one hits, you're like, oh my, that toilet flush was just all time. <laughs> I mean, it's funny when a cool man like PG does it, you think, oh, a, a smile comes across all our faces, a twinkle in our eye almost, you know? But if I was on the phone with one of my friends, and I have been, where they flush the toilet, I always kind of wonder what's going on with them that day. You know, you had to you had to talk to me while you're taking a shit. Yeah, a lot. It's, a lot of it's different. My friends, my friends will be like, "Are you peeing right now?" I'm like, "Yeah." What's the? What are we fucking? So uh, you do use the phone toilet? while you use the bathroom? Peeing, yes. Number See, one, see, peeing yes. is Number worse. Two, what do you mean? I don't even have to. I don't even have to do anything. Why is it worse? Well, on your end, but for a person on the other end of the phone. See, I'm thinking of the the person listening. They have to hear the stream, the constant stream, the whole time before the flush. Well, it's also 2024, so I'm only on the phone with people who I you know, <laughs> care deeply about. We're not <laughs> true, you know, or like customer service. If I'm on the phone with customer service, I try and force myself to go to the bathroom. <laughs> I mean, that's something that I, I I am holding on to dearly is I love talking on the phone. I'm a phone talker. I don't go out of my way to do it, but I'd rather deal with something over the phone than via text or whatever else. And I'm finding out that less and less people, especially women, are into that kind of thing. But uh, I ne- when I am peeing, I mute the phone and I'll yeah. unmute it if I have to v- reply. But I mute it for the duration of the piss, and if I'm uh, if I am shitting and I have to be on the phone, and there's any sort of uh, cacophony, if you will, of noise that were to <laughs> emanate from me having to shit, I would be muting it until I have. It's a it's a unmute for talking only purpose. Yeah, this is a topic we've had on not today, pal. Me and Jamie are bo- or no. I forget what Jamie, but I am definitely a. I don't bring my phone to shit with me uh guy so i'm never on the phone with somebody when i'm shitting i never would be oh my lord look at this one melissa says i'm a therapist and a client took a shit on our video call on the video call that's heinous wow that's a cool guy i mean that's a guy that (laughs) i'm saying he's heinous right now but if boy if i spoke to him i would be absolutely elated to hear from him yeah you figured out his diagnosis right away cool guy 100 percent cool guy Let's hear a little bit more from uh, PG here. No, no, no. That was um, uh, a family member going to, uh, to the re- restroom. A family member? Yes. Why are you so close to them, PG? Uh, no, just... Cool. You can tell us you're PG. Mind. We just talked about being honest, are PG. Are you smoking while pooping, <laughs> talking to us? Absolutely. No, absolutely not. I would never do that. Absolutely not. <laughs> I'm totally kidding, but that would be an awesome move. <laughs> Dude, you're the best guest of all time. This is, I, I mean, you are, you are such a gem. You're making, you're making that up. No, 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 dude, I swear. Uh, Jamie, no, am I kidding, Rob Jamie? Rob does not fuck around. He doesn't lie. That's the one thing he cannot do. Yeah. You- it was the best guest of all time, Rob. You weren't lying there. And now, since it's happened, has PG been uh, very, I don't know, verbose, in the DMs now, is he a, is he a little more familiar now? Well, much like a cool guy, I don't even think he was aware that his episode dropped for like a week. 
you know? <laughs> I wanted to keep knew what was going And then one day he realized, and then we started getting a bunch of comp. We got DMs. Jamie got DMs, and then YMH got DMs. And then I think he even started maybe Photoshopping himself into a few photos where I used to be. Oh, boy. That's cool. wild. That's some one-hour photo shit right there. I'll tell you what. Yeah, patented cool guy move. He love uh, it, baby. Yeah. We love. I want. It would be even better if he didn't even Photoshop it. He just cut his face out and put it over yours. I mean, that's pretty much what I meant. Yeah, that's pretty much. What I meant. <laughs> yeah, you you yeah. said Photoshop in a lofty sense. That's for sure. <laughs> yeah, no, it's very cut and paste. Little Bowner here says, I got the call that I got hired at my first job when I finished shitting and realized I didn't have toilet paper. I had to answer while frantically looking for something to wipe with. I, I would just have sat on the toilet there, Little Bowner. I would have just stayed right there and took the call and then felt like a champion for getting that job. And then, you know, who needs to wipe after that? Right? Yeah, I've always lived in like a pretty much like a one bedroom and it's really hard for me to you know, I've had girls stay here for periods of time in this, but really when you have those like violent shits, like imagining that my, I've, I don't think I've ever had a girlfriend here while I really had like a, I, I, actually I got food poisoning once where I was uh, staying with a girl that was really, really horrible. And then like, it was really weird because I was like encouraging her to go out with my friends, but I was saying I was going to stay in. <laughs> And she like thought that I, I think she thought I wanted to like break up with her, but I just was uh, very sick. Yeah. Girls should understand. There's a little like, uh, it's like a rain delay with uh, having to shit. I'm, I have, I don't know if you heard the beginning of the show earlier, but boy, oh boy, I have uh, been battling diarrhea all day. Thank God I'm here inside Roach Studios today and I don't have to go very far. But um, now thoughts after this happened, what's that? I'm sorry. Is it thoughts and prayers? I thoughts and prayers are with thoughts you. and prayers. Uh, I wanted to ask since then, also now, has Jamie been inspired by the admiration that PG had for her feet and maybe considering uh, venturing into this a little bit? Well, that's, I think we said a lot of stuff on this pod where it was one of those things where it was like, you know what, like, you know, we'll have a few days to think about this before it comes out. And if, if Jamie wants anything out or if we're not comfortable with this, and I think Jamie started the pod uncomfortable and halfway through, I think she was really into it. I think she really liked it. Really into the like foot validation or really into the idea of, hey, maybe my feet are upper echelon and I should capitalize on this financially. I think all of it. I think she Interesting. Was really, I think she loved how much PG loved her. I think she loved the whole foot thing. I think, and also, you know, we really loved PG by the end because he grew on us with just how honest he was. You know, there was, uh, he, he might've lied about the toilet, but you know, pr when it came to Jamie, he was, he was pretty honest. He seemed pretty unabashed. Now, have you thought about how you are going to capitalize on this? We have seen on, uh, for instance, on your mom's house very recently, there was an OnlyFans woman who had her son filming her content. Maybe, I mean, you're not related to Jamie. Maybe you can take on that role, though, of director, photographer, et cetera, et cetera. Have you thought about that? No, I think I'll pass that buck to either Chad or uh, Jamie's husband or somebody. Chad else. would be all about it. Ch Chad's down. Yeah. Chad, uh, yeah. I don't think Chad don't has think his resume for that prepared. Yeah. Uh, and you I, talked about. Oh, I'm sorry. Go ahead. No, no, no. I was just saying. I, I, I don't think. I don't think I can get into. Uh, that's a whole another level of weird. If I start filming her feet and telling, I, I don't. I can't. I can't do it. Stinkton says the word is pimp. I don't think that's the word. I think the word is manager or agent <laughs> or something to that effect. Now, speaking of uh, professionalism, you know, uh, I was trying to, even though the YMH audience has explicitly pointed out to me that they hate porn stars Arr, i had porn stars here on the first episode and they all got <laughs> so i wasn't going to do it this time but i thought about it i looked up the sopornos yeah and i was trying to find the one that would have been jamie but they all have different names they really just took uh james gandolfini's character and then just made like nebulous people around him right so there was no <laughs> meadow there wasn't one named Meadow that right. I saw in at least my uh, ventures and research. 
Wait, so the mommies hate porn stars now? The dude. It seems as so. Or the or maybe the IG got caught up into one of these trad algorithms. That's my other theory on it. I was shocked and awed, to be quite frank. But um Either way, I couldn't figure out which one would have been you or which one would have been Jamie. And I thought about it, and it's, it's got to be weird. You, I mean, you can obviously attest to the Sopranos porno. I mean, I, if it were me, I think I would watch it and laugh at it, but I don't know. Is it just like kind of odd, somebody you played for since you were a child into your adult life? <laughs> now, now it's like a porno version of it. You know what's so weird? As a single guy who has no kids, nothing, I spend. I have to spend a lot of time, or I get to spend a lot of time thinking about myself. You know, my needs. This, I never thought my character might be in Sopranos until you just brought it up. I just Interesting. Pictured, I just pictured it would be all like one dude banging a ton of like women Sopranos people. I never thought that there might be my character. That's and also my character was like a kid, so I, maybe that's why I never thought about it. But that's uh, yeah, I don't know. Was there a guy who played me? I, I, again, they were all like kind of nebulous around the James Gandolfini character, the Tony Soprano there. And even Tony Soprano had a different name and it wasn't like bony Soprano or anything like that either. It was just like John Soprano or Soporno or something or something like that. It was very nebulous, uh, in terms of the actual, so it made me wonder if they had like copyright stuff that they didn't want to even dance with. Cause HBO would just come down real hard on them. You know, we thought about that too. And they were doing a prequel. Maybe that's true too. That's true too. We got a huge Rob fan here, Michael Friedman. Hey Rob, huge fan. You really are inspiring. I'm almost two years sober. That's pretty nice. Look at how nice the chat is today. The uh what'd you say? I said, chat? look how nice the chat is today. Yeah, the uh dude, it, uh, for me, I can only speak for myself, but congratulations. It only gets easier. You know, the 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 first year is definitely where you're kind of like sketched out about what's going on, how long do I have to do this? And now I just hit 11 years and I'm like, I don't even really fucking think about it anymore. I mean, especially alcohol. I don't really think about cause I just see everyone getting drunk and I don't like it, but man, pills are tough. You still think about pills and you're like, it'd be nice to take four Percocets and watch a movie, you know, <laughs> <laughs> that would be nice sometimes. Um, no, but I totally get it. What does this say here? Uh, the need to get airtight somehow. Oh, I don't know what that means. Oh, the, the, we did discuss airtight a little bit more, Rob, I'm going to ask you for, can you talk for like 20 seconds about something that I'll bring? I'll ask you this question, <laughs> but I need to go plug this. The computer has fallen out of the, the outlet and now the battery is going to die and then it will shut this whole operation down and I can't have that happen. So I wanted to, to ask you, uh, Jamie, I didn't even, by the way, I never even watched Sopranos until after I met you, which is crazy. Oh, really? Yeah, isn't that nuts? Like, I never saw it. And I knew Jamie from Entourage, where she kind of played herself. And you know what yeah. I mean? Like, and I never knew, like, how much of it was. I was always interested to hear about how much of that was herself versus uh, just a character named the same name as her. And I thought, wouldn't it have been weird if there were an Entourage porno? And then she had to be, there was a character named Jamie. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, right. that would be even more fucked up, I would imagine. Yeah, that's that's too meta. Too meta. Now, I, I don't know. Have you acted in anything else that could very well have been a porno? Or name some uh, things off the top of your head, some publications. I'll be able to hear you. Some yeah, yeah, yeah. films out there that you could come up with as a, a good porno. In the chat, come up with them as well, too. I'm going to go plug this computer and be right back. Uh, the answer is definitely no. Because, I, I mean, after Sopranos, I really was like, I'm not acting anymore. Because I fucking hated it. But the... Um, I did a few episodes of Law and Order uh, to get out of jury duty when I, I would get like the jury duty slip in the mail. <laughs> and I'd be like, there's no fucking way I'm doing this. So I'd call my manager and there were just always Law and Order episodes going. So they were always looking for like people to be on. So they would just, my manager would call them and be like, hey, if you need, you know, if you could use Robert in an episode. And then I'm like playing some weird, you know, killer guy instead of uh, having to go to jury duty. I just always thought jury duty would be like the last thing I'd ever want to do in my life. Oh, yeah, no, jury duty, that's so funny that you did Law & Order instead of doing jury duty. By the way, I didn't have to diarrhea. It was a real computer emergency. I couldn't possibly have diarrhea that quickly and gotten here, Other, unless I I would rather just shit in the chair, frankly. You can diarrhea pretty quick. 
Yeah, a person, one could diarrhea pretty quick, but why would I have stepped away that fast to just diarrhea over there? I'll just do it right here if I See, had to do it. Uh, it's still in my pants watching, either way, right? If you guys are watching this right now, I don't know why Jamie wouldn't show up. Like, what? She doesn't, <laughs> she doesn't want to talk about how fast someone could diarrhea in a cup. What's her problem? You know? I think she had another call. She was worried yeah, that I would get too invasive about the uh, feet question. <laughs> She's like, I can handle PG. Can I handle the roach? I don't know. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but thanks for coming on, Rob. I appreciate it, buddy. And uh, everyone can check out Not Today, Pal. The, the latest episode was about the porno thing. That was an interesting uh, thing there. We didn't even need to play a clip of it. But go check that out. And I, and I think I, I will be on an episode coming up very shortly. So uh, keep your eyes peeled for that as well. Yeah, man, excited to have you on the pod, and thanks uh, thanks to everybody back there running the show, and I'll see you later, mommies. Any little tease you want to give about a forthcoming episode that's, uh, you know, for behind the jeans ears only? Uh, upcoming episode. What are we at? No, I mean, we have some good ones coming, but honestly, the only episode that I've ever, you know, I did a podcast with Jamie where we did like 150 episodes, and then I, we've done this. So, you know, it's like 200 episodes. The only episode I've ever done of a podcast that I tell people to listen to is the PG episode, is the foot guy episode where I literally go out of my way to tell someone like, listen to this fucking episode. But also uh, a teaser, a teaser that could come is that our, you know, some people have had issues with one of the guests we had in the past. And I'll say our, our guests are more fun in the future. <laughs> Ooh. Yeah, yeah. I think I know what you're talking about, and I think I'm going to dig deep into that someday as a classic vault jeans or maybe an investigative report. We'll find out. We'll talk about it. But I uh, I love you, and we will talk to you soon, buddy. This uh, guy, Corey Sanchez, said we would have heard the splatter. Indeed. Indeed. The mic is on. <laughs> so thank you, Rob. We'll talk to you next time. All right, buddy? Thanks for having me. And I, I'm not sure how to exactly leave here, so if you hear me peeing after, I, I do apologize. <laughs> All right. Well, I might hear it, but the people, the folks at home on, we're going to put you backstage, backstage here on the program. Oh boy, folks, that was Rob Eiler again. Check out Not Today, pal. Uh, you know all over the ymh studios platform go check out all the past guests and maybe you can do a little investigative on yourself and see what the hell he was talking about and uh definitely check out my episode when it comes up here in the next couple of weeks as well there was another um discussion of being airtight on your mom's house since we were talking about it and i wanted to pull that up here let me grab it Look at my blind ass doing this shit. Look at how fucking... You should be impressed by me every fucking second yeah, Like, here. dude, you're... Right, but Rob, here's the deal, though. Oops. That photo, um... Here we go. Th thank you uh, for having me. Yeah, um, yeah, you can call me anytime. Uh, we can talk about any topic. Um, Look at how I jinxed fine. myself. Um, if Jamie could give me, like, a... Like a, a Oh, my Lord. I jinxed myself. I really jinxed myself by bragging. Okay, here we go. Oh, my God. It didn't work. Oh, folks. I'm sorry. Give me one second here. I'll figure it out for you. I'm just going to do the old analog version of a link, you know, typing it in myself, typing in all the nonsense. We're going to get there. Here we are. Look at this. Booyah. Check me out. It happened just today, so I didn't have my link quite ready. Here we go. Airtight, finally, I've done it. I didn't do it, did I? I'm fucking sorry. Hold on. <laughs> Everything shut off. Oh, boy. We got it now. Mm -mm -mm. Mm -mm -mm. Booyah, Josh. Look at you. <laughs> Big recovery. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I wanted to also point out that Shaggy and Violent J point out something that we kind of touched upon, mm. but they really articulated and the audience really resonated with what? is that going airtight, it's actually kind of gay. 
Oh, yeah. I think it registered to a few people before them. But yeah, I never really thought of it as gay. But this is another layer to our discussion. You know, you know who thought of it? This guy. They should have watched Behind the Jeans when we had those legends on. We discussed that perhaps it is gay, but guess what? You have to you have to be open minded. You have to, uh, you know, take that out of your your head completely. Sure, it may be gay, but we're making this lady airtight at all costs, no matter what. And you have, and they do bring up some of the reasons why some people might think it's gay, and some people might think that that's just added bonus about going airtight well yeah because it's a real different different thing here's the thing <laughs> if you're a guy if you're a guy and there's another guy in the room naked period mm -hmm. you have a, a certain level of comfort with that to be maybe you're just like we're both super horny that probably is true and you can kind of keep your distance distance if one's in the mouth and one's in the v but once you're three deep if you're V and A at the same time, there is literally the thinnest layer of skin separating. You still feel each other. Sure. You feel each other. So that's kind Kyle C., you nailed it. It's a noble act indeed, my friend. It is something that you're doing uh, to help your brother out, basically, at the end of the day. Imagine being two in, a, in an A or two in a V. That's banana land. Imagine having two in it. I mean, I, I don't know. Some of them have three. I mean, it is craziness, the idea of how to get so many in there. And you are very close quarters, and it's all charity. Really, at the end of the day, they're just heroes and charitable and gay. folks. Definitely gay. I mean, you're, you're in a woman, but... I'm going to go... Everything is lagging. Mm. Hold the hold the horses, folks. How are we doing out there? Let me know in the chat if it's still if we're still going. Sorry about that. I don't know what we're okay. Good, we're good. I'm losing uh, connection to my vids here, uh, but we are gonna plow ahead. Oh boy, folks. Sorry about that. Oh my lord. Thank you for coming back. If you're coming back, if you didn't come back, we had a little technical difficulty there uh, for a moment, but uh, it was half my fault and half uh, I thought I was blowing the controls. Turns out it was just my computer was locking up and that had to do with the battery thing from before. Not that you needed the explanation, but we're here and I'm glad we're back. We were talking about is airtight gay. Well, speaking of gay. The, the bears, the two bears in their one cave. Oh, boy, they had a fun time with little March Madness. Oh, boy, my bracket was busted, if you know what I'm saying. And uh, I have a, the bracket right here. Let's share it for you, folks, because I want to get into the nitty-gritty of this whole thing. We have it right here. Yes, indeed. Check it out. I don't know if you can see it, if it's too small. Let me see if I can zoom in a little bit for you. Oop, that's the wrong way. Oop, that's it. Oop, ah, eat, oop, eat. Well, I, I, I would just zoom in on your own darn screen. Uh, but I can read it, so I hope you can too. Uh, and I'm blind. But boy, oh boy, there were some surprises in here uh, that I must bring up. And who do you think was left off this bracket? I know this was pretty catered to Bert's liking, but like Ryan Gosling, for instance, boy, oh boy, the fact that he wasn't on there and he's one of Christina's favorites, I thought for sure they would at least see how deep he went since his he's always brought up all of the time, you think, right? I always said if I had to make love to one man, it would be Ryan Felipe. He's not on this list either. He would have made a great one. And I bet Bert would have loved Ryan Felipe. I bet if Bert was here with me right now and I said Ryan Felipe, he'd be like, oh, Ryan Felipe. He'd love Ryan Felipe. And I bet he would have gone deep, 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 deep into the brackets. Um, boy, oh, boy. But I want to get into some of the final four. I want to hear some of yours. So please to be letting me know what you think. And we're going to get – there was a clip of uh, – them talking about Travis, Kelsey, the brothers, the two of them together versus, uh, I mean, I think they were versus Hugh Jackman. And I have some thoughts on that, but let's get into uh, the final four first, shall we? We're going to get into the quarterfinals here. Oh boy, my real bracket 
is busted to hell too, by the way. Not that you care, but as a gambler, I'm very disappointed with myself and my performance. Here you go. All right, and now we're in the quarterfinals. Okay, quarterfinals. Churchill or Hugh Jackman? Oh, fuck. They both have accents. Yeah. They're both older gentlemen. I'm th both their boys. Yeah. Winston Churchill or Hugh Jackman? Winston Churchill or Hugh Jackman? Without a doubt, I'm going Hugh Jackman. Hugh we're going surfing wow. in the mornings. I got to tell you, that surprised everybody. We're going surfing <laughs> in the mornings. We're going to do activities. We're going to have sex. He's much more active. Great dinners. He's going to show me th stuff I don't know. He is. He's more noble than I am. And I will spend more time with him. Winston Churchill's going to die soon. Yeah. I will spend more time with him. Okay. Uh, young Johnny Depp or Killer Cam? Fuck! <laughs> I know. I know. Now, even Killer Cam's like, that's a good one. Yeah. That's a good one. That's a good one. Kill a cam or young Johnny Depp. I've got a guy with amazing stories and a guy with amazing stories. Yeah. I'm sorry to do this. Yeah. And I still am a huge fucking fan. Yeah. I'm going Johnny Depp. Young Johnny Depp. Young Johnny Depp. I think you saved the potential relationship here. As if we didn't know that was going to happen. I mean... No, I'm just kidding. I uh, Johnny Depp, though, is an odd... I don't know. Johnny Depp, out of all those fellas, Bert, I think he just kind of got uh, into the weeds, and Johnny Depp kind of came out on top. I don't know. Does he? Uh, Johnny Depp seems like achievable. I think Bert could fuck Johnny Depp at this point in both of their lives. I think, you know, Bert's gone like this. Johnny Depp's kind of had a few like days like this down here a little bit. I think they're going to... I think they cross paths enough, too. I mean, the guy's like best friends with Stanhope. Get him on the phone. I bet you could actually, Bert could actually fuck Johnny Depp if he so chooses. That's why I was so, you know, kind of flabbergasted by this entire thing, because I thought it would be somebody that was unachievable. But no, here we are. A guy that Bert, I mean, let's just make it come true. Johnny Depp could be on Two Bears, One Cave one of these days, and we're going to find out. Will you fuck Bert Kreischer at the end of the day? I would love to hear some of your... uh People that were missing from this list out there here in the chat, by the way. Uh, someone in the chat says, hey, chat, what is this? <laughs> That's a good use of the chat. I enjoy the fact. And then people then went on and explained. Oh, here, look at there's the This is the uh, we're having some straight up conspiracies happening right now. Potter sabotaged the stream to take a shit. Smart man. What did I say at the beginning of this episode? I would neither confirm nor deny whether or not I have taken a shit during this stream. Neither can you. It's going to leave up to speculation. There's a lot of evidence pointing in certain directions. And uh, you never know, my friend. You never no, but I do like that uh, conspiracy. There was I wanted to get into the Travis Kelsey part. It's so funny because there's another two. They're friends with the Kelseys, you see. They've talked about each other on each other's podcasts. So I thought for sure the Kelseys would go far. Not the case. They also were a victim, I think, to Hugh Jackman. Let's see. Next, we have <laughs> both Kelsey brothers. Oh, wow. Hold on. Hold on. Or Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck was the guy that took him down. <laughs> this is what's peculiar to me. That's a really, really tough one. That's so difficult. So first of all, you're kind of, you're basically airtight with the Kelsey bros, right? Like, yeah. they're, <laughs> you're just a fucking, like, spigot, oh, right? They're just leaky submarine, just yeah. in the mouth, in the ass. Yeah. And and and, and they, there's a, by the way, there's a lot of power behind these thrusts. Oh wow! I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna be fucking taking a fucking rest day. It's my Monday. Yeah, yeah. You're gonna need that cold plunge. I think so. I have always wanted to be I have a brother. So yeah. I think fucking both the Kelsey brothers, you'd be a part of the family, and you get all the inside For jokes. Sure. Yeah, yeah. And you'd and all of a sudden you'd be welcomed in to them. Yeah. And you could hang out with. I mean, they, okay. Well, oh, they got to get rid of their wives. Yeah, yeah. Leave Taylor families. and Kelsey are gone. Yeah, or yeah. in uh, 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 Jason's wife are gone. Yeah, 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 yeah. And so 
No, it's and, just you three. But th- that would be wild if Jason Kelsey's wife name was Jace or Kelsey Kelsey. That would be interesting indeed. We've got a few suggestions here, by the way, before we get to the conclusion. Clooney would have been good. Yes, Clooney was missing from the bracket. Kyle C says the same thing. Clooney missing from the bracket. We had a lot of people talking about diarrhea gate it's not true it didn't happen uh but he has to pick ben affleck right because he says it weird and i noticed they said josh hartnett weird too i don't know if that was part of the ben affleck thing because they were both in pearl harbor together i'm not quite sure uh but just i so i here i am thinking two for the price of one we just had all this airtight talk a man only needs two penises to be airtight if you didn't know if you haven't done the math on that quite yet whereas we were talking with the uh, fine young ladies back on episode one, Jane Wilde and Alexis Tay, they need they require three penises to be airtight. Us gentlemen, we only require two penises. The Kelsey brothers could indeed make Bert airtight. And so that never comes into play into his mind. As I guess it does in an intimidating way, as you mentioned. Yeah, I know, but I got to be honest with you. Yeah. They're chicks. Kind of make them. They're kind of great. They're kind of great. And here's yeah. the other thing. They're chick like it's like Jason's Can I tell you a something great though? guy. But when you meet his wife, you're like, "Oh, he's a fucking solid dude." Everybody that talks about being in these thruples, it's like it's really tough. The old dock and sock. I like that. To be enough for two, like two people. I like you're that. You're always going to be dealing with like mm. Jason's be like, "Oh, how was I guess you spent the night with Travis last night." You know what I mean? And then you're like, "Dude, I fucking love you." I I'm might just, be enough for a thruple. You think so? I might be the perfect guy for a thruple cuz I'm a lot you are a lot. <laughs> that is the most wildly deep, introspective thought that I've he- ever heard Bert Kreischer say on a podcast, to be quite frank. And I think that was a that was a real sense of self awareness that you don't catch every day with every everybody out there, folks. You know, say what you will. The man knows who he is. You're I might lot. have total throuple energy, but but ben, then the question ben is kind of fleck. Oh, man. brooding. Yeah, cigarette, Dunkin' Donuts. Yeah, always. He's got the same scrolling thing I have, where he's like, "God, man, I'm fucking. I want to get down tonight." Yeah, and then I could get a. Are you sober? No, I'm not with me. Okay, not with me. And he's just left J Lo again. He's just left J Lo. He's lost. He's confused. Yeah. He's got a house in the hills. He's lost. He's confused. He's on a bender now because he met Bert. I love that Bert's gonna make Ben Affleck. Uh, break his sobriety this is an interesting idea i had wanted to stop and talk about for one moment job jobby one jobby one two uh they said uh they need to do a bracket with all the cool guys 10 to 12 benadryl guy would make it into the final four for sure maybe i draw one of those up for next week what do you say folks or if you want to mock one up and you want to do some seating on your own you could always hit up the email Hit up the email behind the gene show at gmail.com. Behind the gene show at gmail.com. Email us. Let us know where would you see the cool guys. Fill, put up a bracket. You don't have to fill it out. You can fill it out. Whatever. We'll go over it next week. I'm going to do my own. I'm going to fill out my own bracket. March Madness. March may be ending next week, but March Madness certainly doesn't because, I mean, even the, the actual tournament's going to be still going on. So why the hell not? That's a great idea. Look at that. What a wonderful chat from Jobby12. Giving shout outs here, even from the rest of the folks. Let's get back into the clip. Yeah. We bump into each other at Runyon Canyon, and he's like, hey, I saw the thing that you and uh, the other guy did with the brackets. Is that real? <laughs> and I go, huh? And he goes, would you, would you for real? And I go, yeah, I said it. And he go, hey, come hang out with me tonight. I'm off the wagon. I'm partying, but I, I got my shit under control. And I'm like, okay. He's like, hey, don't bring your chick. And Just like, me and you. You're like, yeah, of course. And then the other pitch is me and you are at an event, and the Kelsey brothers walk up shoulder to shoulder with me, and they're like, hey, we saw the thing you did with Tom. Is that real? Can we take turns on you? <laughs> The thrill and excitement of March Main. I do like when they, uh, when they, when he brings that part up about the thrill of, uh, of them coming in and and being like, "Hey, is that real? Can we really make you airtight, Bert?" <laughs> that would be, 
<laughs> I mean, the fact that he says that, and then he gets into this next part of it, which I think is funny because he says, he goes, they don't, uh, they act like they wouldn't take no for an answer. Really great. <laughs> and I go, oh, I don't know they're going to bring that up on the podcast now. <laughs> so it's kind of good maybe that they lost earlier in the round because it's because Bert says later on here, I don't know if they'll take no for an answer. Fuck up, you know, and they just yeah. you down, and you're like, Ugh. that's Ben Affleck. Ben Affleck, okay. It's it's fucking Ben Affleck. God damn, it's Ben Affleck. Wow, these keep getting better. Are you ready? Profit. Yeah. Fuck his mouth. He, dr- Jason. I think about you, like, truly not being it, like someone overpowering you. Shut the fuck up, you know, and they just yeah. hold you down, and you're like, Ugh. Yeah, it's Ben Affleck. Oh, ben Affleck. Okay. It's settled. fucking Ben Affleck. God damn it's Ben Affleck. Boy, oh boy. I, it's a, I, I bet the Kelsey brothers, if they were to respond, they'd be like, we'd be gentle with you, Bert. Especially the big one, you know, Travis. Tra- uh, or Jason, excuse me. Jason's like a big old bear. I bet he'd cuddle Bert all real nice, be real slow. He'd be like, is it hurt? Now, every time he moved a little bit, he'd be like, did that hurt? And Travis is like... I don't know, he's like the kind of guy that wore, wore earrings and shit in high school. You know what I'm saying? He'd be like, oh, girl, you know, that kind of guy. I don't think they'd be very rough. I'm just trying to salvage the old uh, Kelsey brothers' reputation here. I think they should have made it to the next round, two for the price of one. But Bert really does love him, some Ben Affleck, at the end of the day. Are you running the 5K in May, Josh? What a question from Gary. That's right, the two bears announced that they are having the 5K in Pasadena, California, right down the old street from Roach Studios here. So I guess I really have no excuse at this point. I'm going to have to run it. Uh, So I guess that that answers that question. If they'll have me, I'll be there. Um, So it looks like I'll be doing that. How about you out there, folks? Are you going to get signed up for the old 5K? Pleased to be doing that. And, uh, yeah, the winner of the bracket was Johnny Depp again. I'm disappointed a little bit. I just thought it should be somebody fantastical, not somebody that is uh, able to be achieved by Burt Kreischer. You know, I think Burt Kreischer can fuck Johnny Depp in real life. And I'm going to root for it as a matter of fact. And also, uh, I'm going to root for the fact that I'm going to make it to the toilet in a little bit, folks. Oh, boy. Boy, oh boy, what an episode of Behind the Jeans. We're working out some kinks technologically, and we're getting through it. We're learning new fail-safes, things like that. It's getting better. A live show, that's what you get, folks. You get a guy who is a ticking time bomb of diarrhea. You get a little bit of technical difficulties. Anything can happen here on Behind the Jeans. Again, hit up the email. I can't wait to do that next week. We're going to fill out a bracket of cool guys that we want to— I mean, if we had to, if we had to fuck these cool guys— Who's going to make it to the top? We'll do our own bracket next week. Send in yours, Behind the Jeans Show at gmail.com. Behind the Jeans Show at gmail.com. You can also send in anything else you want. Suggestions about classic clips as we're going to go into the vault starting next week as well. If there's anything you want us to cover, let us know. Behind the Jeans Show at gmail.com. Calm. Well, folks, that is it for another episode. Again, thanks for uh, sticking through the small technical difficulties we had. I hope you came back if you uh, were here for the first half of things. And if you're watching on uh, old YouTube after the fact for free, you don't even know what the hell I'm talking about at this point. So thank you for watching, and hopefully you can join up and become a member very soon and join us in the live chat. Thank you to all our chatters. I love you very much. Oh, boy, don't forget no bra day. Exactly. It's all year long, little bounder. Bye, Heather, says Gary. (laughs) Thank you to Heather. Thank you to Any, and thank you to Cougar for getting me back on the air as well. Bye-bye. Lots of hate from NorCal. That is Kyle C. He's been pretty popular in the chat. No bra, baby. That's right. Mr. Colstein's here as well. Keep them high and tight, y'all, says Forrest Nutter. We'll check you next time on Behind the Jeans. Thank you. It's his beep time. Who is Randy? Don't bring anyone's mother into this. Your mom in the fucking stands. Welcome. Welcome to your mom's house with Tom Segura. Tom Segura. And Christina Pashitsky. Christina Pashitsky. Welcome to your mom's house. <laughs> 